Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Join me today for a little junk journal book haul. So I was super excited to find this one in the clearance. I love the way it looks. I think it'll make a wonderful base for a junk journal. It says Quest for the Lost City of Gold. And this is what it looks like. So I like this one. They have some pages where you can open it up. And it's actually going to be fun to read this as well. There's some really fun architectural facts here from all uh, parts of the world. Asia, Europe, Australia. And here we have the Colosseum. The Notre Dame Cathedral in France. Really beautiful pages for a dollar. So I thought that was a fine. And you have the spine here, and we have a little pocket. I don't know what's in it. Looks like we have a little fold out piece here. And here it is the Lost City of Gold. Wow, how pretty is that? That's going to be fun. And then we have some coloring sheet. That's really cool. And some fun unused stickers. That is fun. And then we have some frames. What are these? There are several frames. I'm going to have to read this book and see what this is all about. I don't think there's anything else in there. So that's book one. And wouldn't this be a fun book to alter and just embellish? It already has like the coffee stains over there. We have this piece here. So I'm excited to read this with the girls. So that's number one. I found this art book. I love then go another dollar book, Art for Children, and just some really fun images. And I think this will be a fun read too for the girls, you know, learn more about art. And again, just wonderful images of his art. So for a dollar, not bad at all. Now here's one that was um, regularly priced, but it's a pop-up book of Winnie the Pooh. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I love Winnie the Pooh. So this is going in my collection, and I, I promise I'll show that real soon. So we have a little pull. This one is like a little tug-of-war. Look at that. And the Pooh Bear stuck in the honey pot. Rue is, I think, having a bath, and his mom's not, Kanga's not happy about it. We got Piglet. That's a cute flip. And Christopher Robin rowing the boat. And we finally have a little outside party. So I thought this was worth the $6.49. And I got this book. I love Hawaii and I was so happy. There are some flowers that I'm not familiar with so I thought this would be a great reference book. It's Hawaiian Blossoms. And look at this. We have our Plumeria. Now I know what this is. I didn't know what some of these flowers were. I have a a ton of pictures that I took in their botanical gardens when we would visit and now I can name them in my journal. I mean they had some markings also at the botanical garden but I kind of walked past it because we were kind of in a hurry so this will be a fun way to look back and name some of the ones that I missed anyway. So how cool is that? Now here's another big book, and I'm a big fan of birds, so I just love the colors, just black, it says 10 birds. This was 
but inside I thought it's very unique. The illustrations are pretty awesome. Look at that. And so it tells a pretty interesting story. A little quirky, but I just love the sketchy type of uh, sketch style look. And it has a little bit of a countdown, so there's the number 10. And I am definitely going to add that again to my collection. So I love this. Super cool. Found more clearance items and this one is a Hello Kitty one and I love these. So I'm going to be using this for some Hello Kitty junk journals I'll be working on soon. But how adorable is this with the lovely pages. I cannot wait to work and show you what I come up with. Hopefully something really nice. I just love Hello Kitty. I'm going to look through these and see which ones I'll have to keep for myself. But here's another one. Wishes on a Star. And these are like classic pictures. Oh, how cute. Then we have this one here. Hello Seasons, which is awesome. I think this would make a great, another great just wonderful journal for any Sanrio lovers out there. Let me know which of these do you like best. So I'm excited to work on those. Another Winnie the Pooh and this one I want to expand. It says it's a journal so I'm not even sure if I want to take this apart. We'll see. Now this one was a dollar and how cute! We got Winnie and Piglet playing. Yeah, I'll definitely deconstruct this and make it into a larger, like more bulkier journal. So that's really cool. And another one, but this one is a vintage one. I forget now how much I paid for this, but... Let's see, this is one of the original ones. Look at the age on the page there. And just some beautiful pages. Oh my gosh, I love this. There it is, $5. I still think it's worth it. Beautiful for a collector's. The next one is Little Bear, and this was a dollar, and I love it. I was surprised to see this in color. The ones I have when I do my little uh, share of my book collection, you'll see they're more in a muted color tone. So I was super happy to see this. And this was published 1957. My daughter Lil uh, used to watch this uh, when she was young uh, all the time. It was such a wonderful series. Um, she loved it. So I have that. And we have a mini golden book, and this is a dollar nine. I thought it was super cute, and I think this would make a great junk journal. Let's play peekaboo. We have just some fun images of the kids playing and having fun. I love that. So we have this one, and then I spotted this. Um, I think last year I got my daughter the Studio Ghibli art on Amazon. It was $20. So when I saw the Disney one, this has a hundred collectible postcards. So this one was half price, $9.99. So I don't know if I can show you all hundred, but we'll try our best to just do a quick flip through of what are in here we have aladdin wreck it ralph look at this awesome black and white there i think this is elsa we have beauty we have flounder we have baymax there's a really nice one i think this is aladdin lion king this is Sebastian singing. Oh, how beautiful is that? 
We have Rapunzel. That's a really cute one of Belle. Uh, Mulan, Cinderella, really unique. Oh, this is interesting. Belle with the baboon. And then we have Aladdin. I love these illustrations. The hyenas, Mufasa, and so on. Look at that. That is really cool. Mulan. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at those colors. And the black and white as well. Oh, I love it. Tatiana. Princess and the Frog is one of our favorites as well. Love this lantern scene. Wow! Look at that amazing image of Rapunzel's tower. And Flynn. <laughs> Smolder. These are really cool. I'm going to have to see in the back what, what the details are. And what is this one? Tangle. Interesting. We have Olaf. Wow, this was such a great deal. Oh, how fun. Really cool. So if you have a half price box in your area, check it out. And if you're a big Disney fan, I think you'll enjoy this box. Oh, I love it. Is this the, uh, what is it? The Firefly from Tatia. Um, oh no, it's not. Mulan. That's really cool though. And look at that. Timon. Really cool. So that is that box set. I did find just a few more items here and one of them was some playing cards and this was a dollar. I love that it was music notes. So you can alter it, use it for junk journaling. So I thought that would be a great thing to include in the final piece. This was a little bit uh, more, $3.99, but I just love the way these look. And it's all about art. And this one I'm still, I'm not sure yet if I'll add it in my junk journals, but I think it's a great piece. I want to play it with the girls first and see. It says, go fish for art so you can learn. Talks, it has a little booklet and tells you different kinds of information about artists. And then this is what it looks like. So on the flip side, we have all these fun images. How cool is that? I think, again, really fun. Uh, playing card set that would be great maybe to go in an art journal I think that would be awesome but I am excited to play this with the girls for the summer the last item is from Ross this was two dollars and ninety nine cents and there are these rectangular little wooden tiles and I, I want to make uh, some collage tiles or decoupage and do some just fun art pieces with the girls this summer. So I thought this would be fun and also great to include in Happy Mail. So hope you guys enjoyed this junk journal book haul. Stay tuned for more project shares. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time.